Hello everyone, I'm welcoming you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKD. As a part of this video, I'm gonna talk about what do you mean by methods in Java. So as a part of this video, I'm gonna make you guys promise that in this video, I'm gonna clear all your doubts you have when it comes to methods. Like what do you mean by methods in Java? What is the syntax of methods in Java? Which methods will get executed first when you run any program? All those doubts you have in methods, I'm gonna make it clear today. So I just request you guys to watch this video till end. This video is going to be a very knowledgeable video. I promise you. So let's get started to talk about what do you mean by methods in Java? So guys, uh, method is nothing but, method is a block of statement it is nothing but a block of statement which will get executed whenever it is called let's say you have any method let's say this is your method so definition of method says that my method is a block of statement let's say this is it's a block of statement a b c and d it gets executed whenever it is called simple definition now, if you guys remember when I wrote about my first program, I wrote how to print software testing by MKT like this. So in this program, I said to you guys that this is my method. So guys, whenever you write any program in Java, your public static void main string args will be called as main method. Whenever any program you write, the execution will take place from your main method even though you are writing this program and if even though if it is having a thousand of methods in it after this there are multiple thousand methods also if it's having the first method which will get executed is your main method which is nothing but your public static void main string arguments now what is the reason behind my that my main method will run first before any other method if you guys remember my house of how java internally works video link in the description above so in that video i had said that jvm is responsible for execution of your program so whenever your execution of program takes place your jvm will first call the main method and that is why your whenever you are running any program in java your main method that is public static void main which is called as your main method will get executed first now the question arises what is the syntax of my method so the syntax of my method is your syntax of your method looks like access specifier then your modifier then your return type then your method name and then your string and arguments so this is the syntax of your main method or any other method now i'm going to tell you what do you mean by access specifier so access specifier is used to restrict the access from one class to another class so in access specifier in java we have four types of access specifier which is nothing but public private protected and package which is also called as default so the four type of access specifier we have in java is called as public private protected package and the package other name is also called as default for now you just remember that access specifier is nothing but which restrict the access from one class to another class we are gonna go in deep about public private protected and package in the future videos for now you just understand that access specifier is something which restrict the access from one class to another class so whenever you are you are writing any method and you want to write access specifier as public you need to write like this you need to write like this public you have to write it whenever you want to write access specifier as private instead of public here you need to write private whenever you want to write your access specifier as protected you need to write this protected word your keyword here but whenever you want to write your access specifier as package or default that time no need to write the keyword if you are not writing any access specifier name it is the meaning of that is it is default the meaning is it is package 
So whenever you're, you're trying to write expressifier as public private protected, you need to mention these keywords in the method name. Whenever you are you're writing access specifier as package or default, you need not write that keyword in front of that method name. So this is about your access specifier, which is this public in this example. Now talking about modifier, in modifier we have two types. One is static and another one is non-static. I'm gonna make a separate video of static and non-static thorough video I'm gonna make it in which I will explain each and every point which will make you guys understand thoroughly the difference between static and non-static for now you just understand that your modifier which is this this is a modifier your modifier can be either static or non-static if it is static you need to mention the keyword as static if it is non-static you need not write any keyword let's say when you are not writing static keyword by default it is non-static modifier let's go ahead to talk about what do you mean by return type if you guys remember my data type and variable video there i spoke about lot of data types we have in primitive type so return type is nothing but here i have written void the reason is my main method is not returning any value so your return type in general word should be whatever the method the value it is returning what i'm using some method right now what kind of value it is returning that will be my return type i'm using some method name right i'm using public static void main right or any method if i use whatever the value it is returning that will be my return type if my method is returning nothing i will use the return type as void if my method is returning string value my return type will be string instead of void it will be string if my method is returning character value that time my return type will be character value so like that return type can be either void can be string can be double can be char or it can be anything based on what my method is returning any value it is returning similar data type will be my return will be my return type now my mn is nothing but method name this name is your mn now you can also ask the question like why in main method we have string arguments as a, as a argument why we have only string arguments the reason we write string arguments in my main method is because whenever you compile any program if you guys remember my video when i said about how to run and compile any video if you haven't watched watch it now link in the description above so whenever you run any program you run the program with your java c your identifier name which is mkt dot java and then you interpret it you you interpret it with java and then your file name so this is the syntax for compilation and this is the syntax for interpretation now the reason we write string arguments in my main method is because to pass any argument while interpretation while interpretation you can give any arguments you want it let's say if i write here mkt and space one i can do that if i do that my output will be software testing by mkt then one so while interpreting while interpretation whatever the argument you want to give those arguments will go and store in this string arguments so the reason we write in main method string arguments is because after compilation in interpretation you can give more arguments you can pass more arguments whichever arguments you want you can pass it that is the reason we pass string arguments to make you guys thoroughly understand this example at the end of this video i'm going to write a program to show you how this happens to show, make you guys understand thoroughly that why do we write string arguments at last i'm going to write this program at, at the end of this video and show you guys practically 
So when I told you about the syntax of my method, I told you it is access, access specifier methods return type and method name. Uh, to be precisely called, this is not always string arguments, but it is like arguments. So in my main method, we always use string args. In other methods, we can use any type of argument we need it. We can use either int arguments, we can use either character argument, we can use double arguments. Always remember when you are you writing the syntax of your methods, your arguments is always optional. That means writing the arguments in method is it is of your choice. You can either write it or you don't write it. So this is about the syntax of methods we have. Always remember now your access, access specifier can be private, public, protected or package which is default. Even though you don't write default or package, it means it is default. So coming to your modifier, it can be either static or non-static. If it is static, you need to mention it is static. If it is a non-static, you need not write the word static, which means it is a non-static. Coming to the return type, you need to write return type as the value which your method is returning. If your method is returning integer value, you need to write here int which is integer. If your method is returning character value, you need to write here char which is character. Since in this week, in this program, my method was not returning any value, I'm gonna write my return type as void. Coming to your method name, you can give any name you wanted. Your main method will always be main. Other method, whichever you call, whichever you use, you can give any name you wanted. Always remember, it should be lowercase and it should be a character value. It should start with a character value and then you have arguments. Arguments is always optional when you talk about the syntax of method. When you talk about my main method, your syntax is always public static void main string arguments. The reason we have in main method string arguments is because whenever you are compiling and interpreting your program in while doing interpretation you can pass any value as an input to the program. You can pass any value as an argument to the program. So for that sake we are using string arguments. How that happens I'm going to explain it in this video at the end. So now let's talk about why main method will have string args as an argument why it will have only string args when i wrote this program before this video i told you the main method will be public static void main string arguments now i'm gonna give you a demonstration to show you guys why main method will consist of string args so you just need to open a notepad or anything wherever you want to write a program you need to create a class let's say i'm doing with I'm creating a class with a name as first, which is my identifier name. And then I'm creating a main method, which is my public static void main. And then this is what I'm talking. Why I'm writing string args as an argument here. I'm talking about this. The reason I'm writing this program just to show you guys that why main method will have string args so i have written this main method and after writing my main method i'm i have to write my method body and then i'm closing the class body which is this one so inside my method name i want to print how are you system dot out dot print ln and then i need to type how are you and that's it so the motive of writing this program is to show you guys why we use string.args in the main method and the motive of writing this program is to show you guys to print how are you so uh, we need to save the file in the desktop we can save it anywhere you want i'm saving the desktop and we have to save the file name with the identifier name dot java so we need to give first dot java after it is saved we need to open the command prompt after it is saved we need to open the command prompt and we need to navigate the place where we have saved our file so uh, we have saved our file in the desktop so i need to go to the desktop and then i need to compile it for compilation we have uh, we need to type java c 
and then we need to type the file name which is my first dot java if i do this i will get the dot class file and after that i need to do the interpretation which can be done using java and then my file name so i will get how are you now i'm going to tell you now wh what i will do is i will delete this class file and i will show you the reason behind the string dot ask in the main method so as i've showed in this video string dot ask is used to pass any argument while running a program so it is so argument you can pass it not in the compilation but in the interpretation step you need to do compilation first once it is compiled you need to do the interpretation interpretation can be done using java first and after that whatever 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 argument you will send it will get stored inside that string dot args so there is a java feature where while doing interpretation we can pass any argument we want and that is the reason we have string args as an argument inside in the main method so when you pass here anything how are you man you will just get how are you you won't get men why you didn't get men is because just because you have passed an argument you need to type it here too you need to type that your argument is zero so i am deleting the class file again i am saving this file and now first i am doing the in compilation i got the class file now i am doing interpretation in which i am doing java first and then i need to type man if i run it i will get how are you man so this is the advantage we have in java where in interpretation step you can pass any argument you want so the motive of showing this program is just to show you that any argument you want to pass it you can pass it in the interpretation step and that argument will get stored inside your string args so the reason you didn't get space here is because you can give a space like this and then you can save it so you got you you got the argument as how are you man suppose if you want to type more arguments what you need to do is you can give you can pass more arguments which is something like argument one or argument two that means total argument that you can pass it in while doing interpretation is your three arguments let's show you this so i did my compilation while interpretation i passed one i passed two i passed three when i got the output i got how are you one two three so this one two and three you your one got stored in argument zero equals to one your two got stored in argument one equals one your three got stored in argument two equals three. I hope now it is very understandable to you guys. So that's all about methods in Java. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how do you create different methods and how do you call it? So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, list out all your doubts in the comment section. And if you have any suggestion for me, list out all your suggestions, list out all your questions in the comment section i will be listening you can reach to me out by twitter account quora account or my gmail which is added in the link description if you think this video was useful to you guys give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkd and please share this video with your needy friends take care stay tuned